Hey guys, it's Chris. From fluffy cats that love to be held to others that might surprise you, join me as I reveal nine of the most affectionate pets in the world. Number nine, the Scottish Fold. While it may not sound like it, this is the name of a breed of cat. Cats have a rather divisive history when it comes to the word affectionate, but the Scottish Fold is one that definitely embodies that term. The breed itself has an unusual origin, because it was discovered in 1961 in Scotland, where the cat named Susie had an unusual ear condition. Mainly, the ears folded down on its head, making the cat look kind of like an owl. One of its offspring was eventually bought, registered, and then genetically bred to make many, many more. It was then that a geneticist realized that Susie had a mutated gene that made the ears of all cats related to her have the exact same condition. As for what makes them so affectionate, that would be because of their very calm and docile nature. They're all about cuddling with their owners, and many find their round faces and very round eyes make it an adorable creature. Because of their popularity over the last few decades, the cost of a Scottish fold is higher than the usual cost of a cat. Finally, it should be noted that many celebrities also have Scottish folds, including legendary singer Taylor Swift, who has two of this breed. Number 8. Pot-Bellied Pigs the idea of having a pig as a pet may sound like an odd concept to some, but farms and other outdoor-focused people don't necessarily share that point of view. Pigs may have some stereotypes attached to them, but ones like the pot-bellied pigs are typically quite fun and clever as pets if you get to know them. For example, most pig species are rather intelligent, able to understand their owner's commands as well as read situations rather well. Not to mention, pigs are hypoallergenic, which means that if you've got some allergies, you might not be allergic to them, which isn't something that can be said about dogs, cats, and certain other creatures that are typically pets. But more than all of that, the pot-bellied pig, among certain other pig species, love to be social, which is how many came to learn of their affectionate natures. They like to be petted, played with, and like to run around and enjoy activities in a large area. Plus, if you're looking for a pet with a long lifespan, many of these kinds of pigs last 15 to 20 years. Number 7. Kinkajou On the exotic side of things, the kinkajou is a rare and special kind of mammal in the world today. Mainly because it may look like a kind of cat, but it's in fact related to monkeys, raccoons, olingos, and more. They're mammals, and ones that primarily like to live in trees. And because of their unique appearance, they've gotten all sorts of nicknames, including monkey bear, honey bear, lion monkey, and more. If you've never heard of one like me, it's because they live in tropical rainforest areas of Central and South America. They're also very much nocturnal creatures. So even if you lived in the area, you may not see one unless you're looking directly at it. Someone eventually discovered they make good exotic pets, so hunting for them became a really big deal. And sure enough, they were right. In the right conditions and with the right owners, King Kaju are very calm, docile, and loving creatures. They'll even be kind to strangers most times. However, if not properly cared for or if allowed to get pent up with their energy, they will occasionally lash out. Also, sometimes kinkajou can be carriers for certain types of diseases, so you want to get them checked out before bringing them into your home. And now for number 6, but first, let me know your favorite type of pet in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to World List before you go. Number 6. Horses Horses are a curious kind of animal when it comes to their nature. At times, they'll be wild and untamable creatures that are destined to be free and won't let anyone come near them. Yet other times, they can be kind, sweet, and love to be around people. And this all has to do with their breed, training, and domestication. So while a wild horse wouldn't be a great pet, getting one from a renowned breeder is another story entirely. Speaking of stories, there are all kinds of stories about how great pets these kinds of horses can be. Mainly because when an owner and a horse truly share a connection, it's like they're family to one another. The horse responds to everything the owner does, and the owner will treat the horse like their own kin. This is why raising horses is actually considered a treatment for a recovering addict, as it gives them something to focus on, and also for bringing certain kinds of children out of their shells, as the horse doesn't need to talk to show its affection. Horses are incredibly intelligent, and they also like to have fun, so if you get the right kind and you work towards making that connection, they're truly a one-of-a-kind. Pet. 
not to mention probably crazy expensive. Number 5. Ragdoll Cat one thing you're unlikely to hear many times is that your cat acts like a dog, yet this is a very apt description for the breed known as the ragdoll. This is because unlike most cats and like most dogs, the ragdoll wants to be held and cuddle with its owner. True, some cat species do like to be cuddled, but it's usually on their own terms, while ragdolls actively seek cuddles out. In fact, that's how the ragdoll got its name, because when it goes to cuddle with its owner, it goes limp in their arms, creating a unique image kind of like a ragdoll. Their unique personality makes the ragdoll more interested in humans than in other cats, which is another rarity for the species. The ragdoll is a highly desired species of cat for all of these reasons, and it also doesn't hurt that their docile nature means they're incredibly unlikely to lash out in aggression towards other humans or animals. I kind of want one. Probably wouldn't get along with my dog, though. Number 4. Guinea Pigs You could argue that the guinea pig is one of the most popular pets in the world today, especially in Europe and the Western Hemisphere. And this is because guinea pigs are known for being kind, friendly, and loving to their owners, as well as being very easy to take care of. They're also one of the few pets in the world where you can carry them around with you, without much fear of losing them or having them do something you really don't want them to do. What's interesting, though, is that this is a direct contradiction to their natural natures. Guinea pigs were found in the Andes of South America and are known as prey rodents, meaning that they're the top food choice for many predators. So naturally, their instincts tell them to run and hide when something unknown approaches. So that should apply to humans, yet they're incredibly loving to humans and are social animals to an almost extreme level. So much so that it's recommended you buy two guinea pigs so you don't make one of them super lonely only when you're not around. And that's a curious thing, which also goes for their name, because they're not from Guinea, nor are they related genetically to pigs. Number 3. Old English Sheepdog The Old English Sheepdog is a breed that does live up to its name as it was bred to be a literal herder of sheep, and it does that incredibly well. But what it also does well is live with humans, which did surprise many at first. This is due in part because of its temperament. While it's a herder of animals, it never has to be overly aggressive to get the job done. It just has a certain energy to it. But it's also known to be a couch potato. It works with animals, but isn't afraid to be with people. It loves to be held and cuddled, with special thanks to its large fur coat. The old English English Sheepdog is very social and will sometimes play its own game of herding with young children or small objects, but it's never harmful when it does so. They can be trained relatively easy, and they can even be fun worker dogs when taught the right things, and it's something they kind of prefer at times. This dog was even appreciated by Walt Disney himself, who put this breed into his film Peter Pan. Number 2. Rabbits to some, it may seem odd that rabbits are more beloved than dogs and cats in certain ways. But in truth, not only are rabbits much easier to take care of than those other two at times, they can also be wildly more affectionate than most dogs or cat breeds. There are many misconceptions about rabbits as pets, including that they'll run wild rather than being held. And that's not true. They can have an outgoing personality, but they do love the attention they get from humans when it's done in the right way. Rabbits are also very intelligent, and they know how to express themselves to their owners when something isn't right or when they're uncomfortable. As for their affectionate nature, rabbits are more expressive than you might expect. They're not above running around their owner to show joy or to indicate they want to play. They'll make squealing noises at times when they're happy. They can nudge their owners to show they'd like to be petted and more. Their biology also helps in the affection department, because their own fur coat makes them very, very nice to handle. Some species of rabbit even grow massive fur coats, which make them very attractive in the eyes of many. They can even grow to massive sizes, including up to a few feet long. But big or small, docile, or energetic, many know that rabbits can be some of the best pets around. Number 1. Golden Retriever there are many dog breeds that are dubbed affectionate, but few are as popular or glamorized as that of the Golden Retriever. And in this case, that popularity is well deserved. Golden Retrievers are indeed an affectionate dog species. They love to interact with their owners, play all sorts of games with them, and are even loving to small children, which can often be a problem with dogs. 
Not to mention, they're super easy to train, which is how they got their name Retriever, as they're a popular dog to have at duck hunting parties. Their skills and affection don't end there, though. They're so tailored to helping people, they're used as disability dogs for the blind and deaf. They're used in search and rescue missions by law enforcement, and much more. They're easy to raise and have tons of energy, which is a plus for many families. The Golden Retriever constantly ranks in the high echelons of the most popular dog breeds in many, many countries. Countries. Well, thanks for watching. What did you think of these affectionate pets? Did any of these animals speak to you in a way that makes you want to get one? Which one? Or do you own one of these pets already? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World List.